Greetings all on this Saturday. A uh, little headline for you. Uh, my Ethernet cable's in. Everything's set up, but I'm not seeing it here. So hopefully there's no lag in the feed. If so, it's going to be a pretty quick show because uh, I'm pushing a lot of bandwidth here. So uh, let me know if everything's looking and sounding good immediately if you're in the chat. I know we're kind of surprising a lot of people here with a Saturday morning show. Hopefully we get some new viewers. It's always kind of the ideal. But anyway, this is my Azorius Godhead deck. I don't know if there's a better name for it. There probably is. I'm sure there is. We have uh, four snow-covered plains, one wilds, four barrens, and the rest are snow-covered islands for a total of 19 lands. Um, I went with this deck, a version of it. Uh, hey, all right. So she things seem clean. All right. Maybe it's just a little icon error on this Um so who knows? We'll see. Um, anyway, I played this in two uh, Popper Classic Tuesday events, and I think I won them both. Um, it's like 11 and 2 on that, and then I just 5 0 with it uh, day before last, I think. I'm not quite sure. Been pretty busy around here, but uh, it's got the goods. Um, bad matchups. I'm sh you know, the second I say this, this is what we're going to face, but um, Stompy can be a little bit of a headache game one, um, but everything else. Uh, pretty doable as you'll see in the uh, board here i would love to run four dispels but i lean on ephemerate just because of the uh, synergy and it kind of acts as dispels uh four and five when you need to save stuff from like black mana anyway the list here's the deal uh for those of you kind of scratching your head going what the hell is he playing today um 90 percent of don't quote me on that number it's probably 87.3 or something like that but nine a ton of the percentage of any removal out there is red you got Scred, you got Lightning Bolts, you got Galvanic Blast, Fire Bolts, everything just leans on red. And if you go down any tournament list, you tend to see red, 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 and it's there for the sake of removal. Why? Well, it's really flexible. The opponent doesn't have creatures, you just point it at their dome, etc. This is no, no news flash. However, it's hit a really critical mass lately, and I think that's why I've been able to capitalize on this. So um, anyway, so the Ephemerate can kind of save your creatures. Obviously, it's really good with uh, Mold Drifter and Trinket Mage. We're going to just go on the list here. So we've got two of these, three of these, two Ponders, uh, four Preordains, two Relics Main, and all four of the Astrolabes. Oh, today we got the new Astrolabe commercial breaking. Um, our supporters on Buy Me A Coffee got to see it early, but hopefully you all like it. It's kind of got a VHS grainy grit, you know, kind of like those old... Uh, He'd call I call it puke talk, you know, in the uh, monster truck rally, Sunday, Sunday, you know, that sort of crap. Anyway, uh, four sky fishers to kind of reset everything and get a little draw engine going here. Two counter spells. We've got four Galena's Knight and four Outlanders, which is what I'm sitting in a little bit. Um, anyway, um, the deal with this, though, is in games two and three, don't lean on Outlander. If you're going to take any of these eight guys out, uh, take this guy out just because of the artifact name here. You don't want to get caught off guard there uh, and killing him. Why do we play those? Well, when these, when this gets on it, they're 4-4 four, four unblockable, just awesome, gain life, etc. They're pretty badass. We got two trinket mages to just kind of uh, sure up the edges. I thought about running some artifact lands, but and then uh, four mole drifters. So that's the main deck. Sideboard, I moved all my journeys to the sideboard. I really don't like facing Tron and Journey's not the best card against them, so I bring this in against like Elves and Stompy and such. Uh, two Standard Bearers, three Holy Lights. You know, Holy Light, uh, historically, hasn't been a very good card for me. I usually don't like seeing it. For some reason, in this list, I love it. It just, it really wins a lot of games, obviously against Elves too. All four Prismatic Strands, and excuse me, we've got two more Relics in the yard there. So I haven't seen anybody chat in a while, so if you can, let me know that you're still there, and we'll go from there, but like I said, the only, um, I've only got one of these little, wait, where did that go? Let's see, play match. Didn't I just hit that? Okay, there we go. And hopefully we don't have bouncy screen supreme. Let's get this moving over here and this over here. Yeah, and we'll join the match and hopefully we can just go straight on in here and not have too many hiccups on the... See, the last time I had an Ethernet issue feed... Um, played okay but you know the the lag and everything was was going on Arctacamaranam <laughs> can't quite say your name right but okay our mana's good we've got this we've got some counter magic we'll keep this and hopefully let's see what we're gonna do so yeah I just I can't I don't know what's up I plugged everything in the same old way I think I probably gotta just go buy another cable it's been a couple years on this one so maybe it's seen its end I don't know all right, our opponent leads off with an island, as do we, but we will drop an astrolabe until we see fit otherwise. We've already got 
double relic. So in matches where I don't like them, it's obviously end of turn, pitch them and draw them. We don't have many um, things in our sideboard. What is this? Oh, this is the snow matchup. So this is the the uh, pretty much the kill card in these lists. Um, they run uh, the red, and if this is allowed to stay alive for any length of time, they can keep up with us. It's going to be a quite a long match here. Arkham is great. Yeah, we've got a whole uh, new commercial based on that. Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse. Going to be a break or two in. I'm not quite sure, but we both got our Astrolabes online. Big difference. I have protection from red guys, and he's probably or she playing red for their removal suite, which is going to help with the Skyfisher for sure. But like I said, uh, I haven't lost any games to that build much, but I have lost... Um, actually, let me, uh, I don't think I really have to worry about that yet. Let's bring this out here. I'm going to bring this out just to pitch it. Um, but I have lost mat not matches, but games with, uh, Seeker just gets a little out of control, especially two or three of them. We don't have any journeys main, so things can get a little, a little crazy that way. We'll bring this up. I'm sure our Skyfish is not going to live very much longer. Tempted to just keep it back in block, but we're not going to. We gotta try to nick that life total a little bit there. I did not know that Ackerman Marm. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm sure I am. I'm just trying to say it confidently, not accurately. Apologies there. All right. I don't think so. What's neat about this list too is uh, games two and three. You've got four spots. You can just whoosh, if they're not leaning on the graveyard, you can get rid of trinkets and the relics. And uh, bring in some bring in some goods. All we really care about in this matchup is that seeker. Once we can uh, double block, get rid of it, something. As you can see, it kind of keeps them in the game a wee bit too long. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we could drop that. I want to ponder here. See what we're gonna get. Hmm. Well, I don't have much coming on the way of. I'm going to need to get my uh, life gain going on here, but I'm going to let me go like this and I'm actually going to keep those. We'll say no. Let me, uh, I'll drop the astrolabe. I might get this countered here. Alrighty. Cool. Don't mind that really at all. I'm actually going to pitch this to just draw some cards, play here, and uh, you know what? I'm going to attack with both. If he wants to block the, uh, I don't mind trading that Glint Hawk for my dude, because I've got another one in hand. It'll be all right. So our mana's going to be fine next turn. we got to find our bit of the combo so we can keep up with this life gain of the Seeker. Don't like seeing preordain. Oftentimes we lose this first game and then we win the next two once we can just deal with the Seeker. Depends how much uh, counter magic they've got too. We shall see. I haven't seen any red. I imagine they're on it. We're already at eight. Getting dangerous to danger town here. All right, it's time to start blocking pretty soon. Um, let me cast this with evoke in case he's got another counter spell. That way we can at least threaten the uh, the block there. Yeah, do you counter this or do you counter the ephemerate that's probably locked and loaded in their mind's eye anyway? So, yeah. Okay, Shirazamon and Little Fight. I don't know if they're in the house or not. Eh. Let's counter that. I'd rather, let's draw the cards. They seem a little counter happy. Throw a Voke on first. In case we do draw him right, we do not. We'll go like this. And we're kind of out of it, aren't we? I'll drop here. Gotta kind of keep things back for uh, the sake of blocking here. We're already at eight. He might just be hoarding two Galvanic Blasts and we're dead in the water here. Maybe they switch to Azorius. I don't know, this is strange. Yeah, our life package isn't getting online. That Falcon and Outlander is feeling pretty naked at the moment. All right. 
I'm thinking I might have to, depending on how much he taps out here. Okay, finally the red shows up. All right. Down goes our boy. Now we've got a block here. I'm going to trip this in hopes that they F6 themselves. Okay, now we have to block. Yeah, we're not getting out of this one. In fact, I'm just going to scoop because I don't have a way to survive uh, either of those next give and goes. Where did my pin go? There it is. Okay. You want to say, lost. It's no big deal. We're already 21 minutes. Down a minute. It's okay. I'm going to bring in these. I'm going to take out my trinket mages and my relics. Don't really seem all that good against them. I like to lean a little bit on prismatic, but not too much. I'm thinking a 2-3 split here. Uh, a bit more counter magic than prepped for. Dispels nice. I'm going to get rid of one ephemerate. We're just going to go in with this. So this is what we really needed. That Game one, if we're going to win it, we need to hit this early so that we can keep up with that life gain. But uh, three journeys and such, I think I'm going to be okay leaning on that. When our guys die, it'll be all right. Actually, I'm going to lose a ponder and bring back ephemerate just for uh, to be able to save our sky fishers and mole drifters and stuff like that. So two prismatic for kind of late game swing. Let's go. Here we go. Come on now. So please. Uh, ah, boy, we got bouncy screen. We got all kinds of stuff. So far, it doesn't like me showing up on Saturday, does it? All right, let's go like this. Man is right. Creatures right. We'll keep. Be nice if we had the enchantment, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, we've got the uh, brand new Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse commercial coming out today. Soon to be on YouTube too. I'm going to lead with this, get our mana right, and preordain later when I'm looking for goods, because we've got to turn to Outlander, which is, unless they have a Journeys or sometimes Oblivion Rings, pretty much GG unless they they get a Seeker out real quick. So again, when you have the option, I really think you should play Galena's Knight over the Outlander because of the artifact uh, disadvantage. Most artifact removals red, so you're already protected, but there's a strange chance they might be able to pull some shenanigans out and I so wish that their artwork was switched because this is just so badass looking and this is just kind of like eh looks like it belongs on the side of a vase or something all right so now this is usually when I'm running good when I just top deck the enchantment and we just run in for the win we'll see they're kind of having a game like we had last game a little bit more hiccupy on the mana if that's even a word I want to go look for the enchantment uh, I don't really care about Skyfisher too much in this game, but I don't want to say no to it either. Let's see. We'll see. Top. And top. I want to go like, uh, since we've got the opening here, I'll just bring it out. Booyah. And attack. Hopefully they just have a handful of galvanic blasts and stuff. and Know where to put them. Keep the chat flowing, guys. It's my way of knowing that I'm still on. I got a strange way of monitoring that. Both my co-pilots don't seem to be here this morning, Sir Rosamond, or a little fight. So, hey, Nim Chimsky's in the house. Hey, Nim, make sure, uh, let me know if everything's looking and sounding good. Like I said, I've got a little bit of an Ethernet scare. I've got everything plugged in, but my symbol shows that I'm just Wi-Fiing it. And that's a lot of pressure to be putting through the hose, if you know what I mean. So... Very curious if that's uh, the case. Come on now, let's go. All right, just in case we draw the goods right out of the gates, let's do this in hopes that we draw our enchantment. Oh, good to hear, Nimchimsky. Hopefully, like I said, it's just a little, I'll stop worrying then until the text starts lighting up like, where'd everything go? But we will see. See, I've had a lot of experience cutting out that astrolabe from the uh, cave in the snow there from Arkham's astrolabe. I did, uh, like I said, about the last week or two, been kind of loosely working. If you follow us on Facebook, been showing a little bit of the artwork there. So, usually runs Scred and Fire Ice. Okay, Dredgel, Galvanic Blast only deals two until Metacraft is turned on. Very good. Oh, and thank you, Jared Gel, our newest uh, monthly subscriber on uh, Buy Me a Coffee. Thank you so much, my friend. I. Uh, haven't got you into the graphics package yet, but we will definitely do that by next week. However, we're not running that today, so 
you will be uh, immortalized in a card of your own. And if you have a choice, uh, uh, since I've got you here, hey, that's what we wanted to top deck. Since I've got you here, uh, let me know if you have a favorite card color and I can put your name inside of that. So here's our little combo, kind of drew exactly what we wanted to get there. I'll make a note of it, Jared Jill, and put you your name in lights with the color of your choice, red. All right, red it is, okay. You are there, sir. Woo, fun deck you have brewed up here. Saw it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I uh, I went, I won the uh, PCT uh, Tuesday twice with it, or and then uh, I just five would with it, and I haven't really played since. It's got, like I said, it's just uh, if you're if you're an old timer like me, you remember I think it was Ziv Malshowitz had the um, back in like two thousand one or two when uh, Galena's Knight was a new card and they played Voice of All in a deck called The Solution because in a, it was a similar metagame. Everybody was playing this kind of, what do you call a, uh, well, you know what? Um, hold that thought. Let me play this. Give his red something to do here. I'll play this out here. Drop this. When you got two out, it's pretty rare that they're gonna counter it. No glasses of Urza today. <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Jared Joe. Yes, content is what we're all about. Not always the win category, because I tend to play a lot of weird rogue decks, but it's to keep everything fresh. I'm not much of a person for watching others stream. I just don't get it, but obviously enough people do. But for me, it's, uh, I don't know, sometimes you get those specialists and they just go 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 and it's like that's great for some people but for me it just it's just like watching the same tv show and episode every day so i'm always trying to mix things up you have been wearing glasses the last bunch of streams oh you're right yeah that is one thing i forgot you're right yeah i don't i can't protect the ugly bags under my eyes anymore okay i'm just gonna get greedy here and uh go like this i'll drop another one this isn't in the hopes of anything other than I just, I want the burn to be focused towards uh, my sky fishers and not my head. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah, I was afraid of that. It's okay, we got a few more. That's the one thing, I was hoping to get a little dispel there because uh, the elemental blast or the pyro blast on the actual enchantment are a nice little uh, way of getting around my combo. Woo! Okay, here we go. Little does he know, we have two two more in store. Nice Mole Drifter Astrolabe. Eight points up. We don't want to see a Seeker show up. Just keep me out of Seeker range because we still haven't drawn our journeys. But, you know, maybe our Mole Drifter or another Out Outlander drop will uh, summon more removal. Who knows? Okay, we like that. Uh, right, uh, kick it or not to kick it. Let's see. Uh, let's just bring this out. Maybe we'll top deck and get lucky. I think I'm going to evoke the drifter just so I've got a two turn play here. Unless he gets counter happy here, then I'll hard cast it. Yeah, I think my, my eyesight's changing. Uh, sometimes. There's a specific like four or five inch range where I have to, where my glasses work. And outside of that, they almost get worse. It's very strange. Definitely going to evoke here. Really want to get a dispel. Draw out a counter. A few things come to mind. What is this? Hard counter. That's fine. I'm just going to keep the engine going here. I'm sure these guys aren't going to last long, but now since I've got a wide open window, I'm just going to come in for at least two. And we'll go from there. Oh, Sky Fisher. God, what a ridiculous card. Thinking it had a drawback. <laughs> so this is a fitting first matchup, given that we're debuting the Arkham's Astrolabe commercial today. Because there's already three of them on the battlefield. Four if you count the one in my hand. 
And they are everywhere. And so the spoof is kind of like an astrolabe warehouse. How ridiculous is that, right? Just a place that just sells astrolabes. It's like a fun, fun, fun 18 in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Hopefully everything's looking and sounding good. Like I said, I got a little bit of an Ethernet scare on this end. I think I'm wi fi it, but who knows? Let's draw the card. I'm probably going to get one of our guys roasted here. Where is our removal? I do not want to use that. Uh, I'll go get another plane and then I'm... Um, might start hoarding lands in, in the shape of, or in the guise of it being removal. Uh, we don't really have anything here, but I'm going to put this out in case he's able to deal with the other one. So I'm going to draw a pyroblast there, but I am really saving that journey. We've already got, uh, I think, two counter spells down. What's in his, uh, nope, never mind, dismissed that. Only one. Remembering last game a little too frequently. Our Kaomancer shows up. Ah, note to self, relics back in. Forgot about that. I usually do keep in two. He grabs the damn. Nah, darn it. Frustrating. This is going to go a bit long. Yeah. You know what? That could warrant going in there. Let's see how this goes. If this hits, I'll uh, Skyfisher just to get it back and put it in permanent purgatory. Another neat way, Ephemerate's never quite dead. Sometimes game one against like a Demir or something, you can save your dudes from terror and such. So we'll throw it on here. Then I'll Ephemerate this. It'll probably be met with a counter spell, which is fine. And he Ephemerates. Okay, well. That sucks, but we'll at least be able to put it back, but not before he probably gets back a pyroblast here. Very nice place. This is game two. Drew a bit clunky game one. And our uh, combo never never came online, so we'll bring this back. All right, well, I'm uh, going to try to get rid of that little combo engine while I can. Let's go. Would have been nice to have two of them, but what are you going to do? So I've got a counter spell in hand. Okay. Be nice if a uh, mold drifter was out, but oh well. I've had some very exciting games against like burn or goblins. You'd be surprised, even with all this hate, you know, they can get you within four or five points and it's a kind of a nail biter but boy the second you drop the combo it's just like good games usually all right they're up six cards on us it's impressive about the same on time even though i'm captain blabbermouth over here i'll throw this on here just to get back our astrolabe and draw a card. Here we go, here we go. Let's go like this. Try it again. Come on now. All right, I'll just keep the train going here. Let's get rid of this. Uh, late count. Yes, there's a <laughs> there's five on the board. That's why there's a Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse commercial coming up soon. <laughs> yes, I have played against Goblin decks. Like I said, um, obviously I win those, but it's surprising how close they get. It really is. It's um, hey, yay, yay, yay. Boy, it's just journey for days, isn't it? I was going to throw them both on the top. This might. I'm just kind of trying to draw that counter out. Come on, counter spell. There she blows. All right. Well, I'm just going to throw that out there. Be done with it. Off the thought, you know, you could have a bone splitter, one main, maybe one relic main, but I uh, had that in the first build and just didn't quite like seeing them all that all that much. So, all right. 
to somewhat answer that too, uh, fun fun. I have seen quite a few of those lately compared to normal goblin decks, so. All right. Yeah, feels like three counter spells have hit us, but it's been the same one bouncing around with the Arkham. What do we have here? Another Mold Drifter. We're getting just buried in a card advantage here. That's usually our job. Boy, I had that Steel of Godhead hit. This game would have been over a long time ago. T very tempted to uh, take out a... If I draw that other journey, I might just double Skyfisher and just start trading in the air. I'm not going to be able to keep that up for long. All right, Preordain. What a great card. Woo! So yeah, I've got nothing to do but watch UFC fight and play some Magic this weekend. So good times. I really like them doing that. That's fine with me. Unless they drop another... Uh, Archmage or whatever the one that gets it back from the graveyard because that would really suck It's kind of okay. There's our culprit. We've got to take him out to keep that life total in check so Hopefully we can uh... oh, That's an interesting play eager to find counter magic probably Otherwise probably want to hold those normally, but not that I play just guy all that much There's no reason not to anymore. I mean remember uh, the uh, infect list. I ran what was it five four or five colors you can do it, thanks to Arkham's Astrolabe, which is just every single first play out there almost. No different here. So if we lose this one, it'll still be okay just because of our... Uh... All right, put this out here for a reason. Let's see. Prismatic's very key too, and not that we can really do much with that Seeker, but... I mean, we can't really like two for one them with... Uh pain draws is that, is that a word I'll get this in the yard here now we'll go like this and say red and what do we have here another scred okay is it oh they're on different ones okay well I'll call that and say red gotta keep our air power in check this one's not feeling that good we don't have our Steel of the Godhead active. Two Pyroblast down. Yikes. Oh, I don't like seeing that because here comes Pyroblast. Oh, Pre what did they grab? I thought that was... Uh... Sorry for the bounce screen. Ephemerate. Yeah, duh. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one now. That's one nasty combo. Thought about running that in this. I just don't want to fix something that isn't broken sort of thing. So correct me if I'm wrong. Was that at the end of turn? Yeah, I guess we'll hide it here. Boop, red. Okay, Femorate's going to show up. This is probably going to get countered if he has one, just to keep us off of a card. Not the best first outing, especially after all this winning this thing has done, but we're going to go for it. Let's put it on the night. At least we'll get four in before he blinks the Archaeomancer to get that Pyroblast back, which might happen sooner than later. Head on the grindstone. There she blows. All right. There's just no reason to attack here. Femorate coming down. Our Killmancer is going to reset everything. This isn't feeling winnable, but we'll play it out. Hard to keep up with uh, a deck with a little bit more flexibility. And then um, definitely punted a little bit with sideboarding. I forgot. I'm supposed to. Most of them do run our Killmancer. And now we're stuck in this uh, super loop. We need that other journey to show up quick. Otherwise, this one's going to be over way too soon. So here on a Saturday, anybody in the chat that normally can't see us live and is happy we're doing it Saturday? I'm not happy so far. I've had one technical issue, and it looks like we're going to start off 0-2. I like our opponent's odds here a lot more than ours. We're hellbent. They got three cards. 
Might be able to deck them. It's always that angle. Ephemer 8. He's drawing the cards. Are we going to get burned out? I can't really even bluff here. I don't even know why I'm uh, I'll just yield through this turn. Let's I pull myself some more dihydrogen monoxide, as I like to say. I always like when you get really big health nuts and they're always like talking about, oh, you got to watch out for such and such. It's got this in it or this food, you know, you got to be. Let's pull a little bit of a bluff there and pass the turn. So all I like to do is name water dihydrogen monoxide. So you got to look out for that stuff. It'll kill you, which it can. You can OD on water, just like anything else. That's a fancy roundabout way of pretty much saying H2O. But it's neat to catch people. Yeah, this is the first match. Our only hope here is that they just get way too hungry and uh, we can deck them, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. And in the spirit of things, let's yield through this turn. Kiss it does. <coughs> Left with the window open last night. Got a tiny bit of a runny nose. Apologies. funny it's like super hot during the day and then boy that ocean air hits you keep your window open sometimes the fog rolls in and you feel like you're camping <laughs> it can get pretty cold pretty drastic changes there all right well i'm gonna block one of them just to prolong the game because they've only got 12 cards left i really hope that they go crazy with that ephemerate mold drifter combo come on something all right well that will elongate the game i like that play and if i attack with that Actually, I'm going to attack with everything, except one thing. I'll keep the, the Skyfisher back. Kind of resigned to uh, lose here, so I just want to cut back the numbers and try to keep the uh, amount of time that this will go down. As you can see, Prismatic's only good on defense in this matchup. We're going to trade three dudes. Targets, Ephemerate, comes back. There it goes again. Here comes Scred. I would have probably took an out Scred just so it's never, it's not dead if I have a draw that's just the others. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. We should definitely be... Uh, scooping here and just going off to game two but we'll see oh and we've got uh conan o'brien one of my very favorite comedians of all time he's got some of the coolest shows on uh, tv especially skits we're always borrowing heavily from some of his old stuff to kind of keep you entertained while i go fill up coffee and stuff so you don't have to stare at a blank screen but we've got some pretty funny skits coming up with that little um uh, three four five let's keep it even i'll drop this out probably gonna get a fat counter 11 cards down. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to scoop here, guys. I don't... Th well, I'll wait one more turn. But he's got some pretty uh, funny old skits that we kind of encapsulate into the MTG lore with card frames and stuff. And I think it's called The Offensive Geist of St. Conan. I know it's one of Shirazman's favorites, but we... Um, there's this old 1930s, like kroner singer that just has really offensive songs coming up for our commercial breaks so all right scred's showing back up two four six eight and twelve we're dead really quick if uh this all goes south i'm gonna keep that sky fissure alive and we can't that's a neat play we'll just do this keep them alive one more might be better to call white there <laughs> Just gonna let this play out. I don't have anything to do today, so it might be a bit longer show today. Hopefully with some wins in there. It's definitely not the best showing here, but I was kind of worried about 
I love this deck because it plays really well for me and my play style. And I'm really good against a lot of control matchups, including this one. I, this will be the first time I do. But, you know, when you add in the, the Twitch and the hosting and all that, it gets a little worrisome. All right, here we go. I think uh, this is our last turn. All we can do is really bluff that we have Prismatic in our hand and hope that they... The Moon Cheese Baby, that's right. All right. Good to hear Nim Chimsky. I'll try to I'll try to bring that back. There's so many gigs of footage that I've done over the years that sometimes it, I just it I truly I just it just gets buried. I've got it pretty well organized, but stuff hides from me pretty regularly. So, all right, I think this is the end. We're gonna take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen in the air. Once he screds our dude, and we'll just let him do it. You know, usually I concede, but we'll yield through this turn and. Watch the uh, air power obliterate us. Booyah! Down we go. Double loss. You're all thinking, hey, that list didn't look that good yet. Well, our enchantments were really hiding from us. We had three left and 26 cards, so we're just going to run right off into number two, and hopefully we run a little bit better than that. Like I say, it's always... Nobody ever wins that game 2-0, except that time. Um, so... Kudos to them. Definitely think the longer the game goes, they've got it. Or if our combo hits, we've got it. It's kind of a mix and match of the two. <laughs> All right. Get ready for bouncy screen. I'm just happy the feed isn't dying immediately. Well, we've... Our colors are right. Our combo's here. We're on the draw. Do you think we keep this or do we send it back? Roll us in the house. All right. Oh, boy. On the draw. We're going to draw one, two. I'm going to keep it. That's what I would do if I was playing solo or on the draw. If I was on the play, I probably wouldn't. Our opponent mulligans. Let's see how we do here. Another island. Is it an astrolabe? It sure is. Boy, very fitting for today's show. If you're just joining us, we will have a Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse brand new commercial debuting today and later on Facebook for all the people that aren't hardcore. Let's save some screen real estate here. Tron it is. And we've got some counter magic and we've got a trinket mage. So I'm feeling pretty good already about this one. Not something you hear very often with uh, Tron matchups. Here we go, here we go. Boy, can't ask for longer matches, right? Just guy kind of mirror and then Tron. I think this time last show, was it when I played Infect? I'm not sure. We had like three games down already. So, you know, it's one of those days that's uh, like the third turn and there's four Astrolabes out. <laughs> Donald K Magic. All right. It's time to downshift Mental Misstep. Yes, it is. All right, so I'm going to drop the Skyfisher, get back the island and ponder and go look for another land. Whoop. One of the few times you don't want to use the Astrolabe. Come on. Ponder. Okay. We'll go like this, this, and this and say no. So, that's right. I already played it, you jackass. Let's go. Given we don't see much of the uh, Tron persuasion going on here, um, that'll help a lot. I'm tempted here. Just going to stick the Godhead and try to play aggro. After that, we're going to go into trinket mode with Relic and try to start fighting with counter magic. For right now, we're just going to attack while we can, get our points up, put them on a uh, two-turn clock here. Yeah, access to counter magic is huge. Yeah, where were these godheads last game, right? Thought about maybe even playing a pilgrim one of these days. It'd be pretty fun. I'm just going to drop trinket here. We'll say yes and go get one of our two main deck relics. I'm going to drop it right now. Now we're going to be in full control mode starting next turn, I promise. They're going to have to do quite a bit of stuff like uh, Moments Peace Finding, maybe not being able to fit Tron in unless they uh, just 
are naturally holding the uh, mine in their hand right now. But, you know, white borders are bad enough, but when you don't match your white borders, ugh, it's even worse. Opponent's hurting a little bit here. Probably a stone horn move. Here we go. All right. We're feeling pretty good. We've got lethal every turn. I think I'm just going to hold out here. And, uh... Let me do this real quick. <laughs> I'll grab another relic. Just so I've got it. That'll be enough. Got to be able to fight, fight the counter. Fight the counter. And this is probably okay. Yeah, I'll let that through. You have my blessing. Do they have ephemerate? If they do, we've got two answers. No. I'm not going to lie. It's awfully fun being able to beat Tron game one. A little bit of counter magic. Bit of a clock. Good times. All right. What do we got here? We got a concession coming soon. That's what I think. No, that's fine. He can't win. This is lethal unless they gain some life here. Let's take the graveyard out of the equation. I always thought it was fitting that Relic has a bit of a clock theme to the artwork because that thing is quite the clock hog. Yeah, we're not letting that through. Get out of here. No life for you. All right, so that's usually how this thing plays out. What'd you call that? Bluetron? I don't know. You don't even know what you call things anymore. Everything's crazy. All right, both relics are coming in. And uh, anybody want to help me with their list? I'd like to know what we're going up against here. Like everything here, I'll probably lose like a, a ponder and a outlander just to make make room for the extras there and kind of keep it like that pretty simple four relics two trinket mages three dispels and the counter magic feeling okay but um i think that's just the grindy grind out right if they have do they have cap size in this list does anybody know so i might want to bring in a um um i might want to bring in a standard bearer to try to mop up some of that Of course, ephemerate's a pretty good, pretty good uh, setup there. Sometimes, you know, Journey's a nice call if they get an early a Dinrova, but I, I tend to just trade a Sky Fisher and a Knight with, with them. I don't really mind too much of that, so. All right, well, I guess we'll find out more. Game three, everybody's kind of quiet in the chat there, so don't want to keep the show going on longer than it needs to. We've got all these islands and astrolabes going on, so it's already going to be kind of a long-winded show. But stay tuned, because after this matchup, do a little bathroom break, followed by the debut of Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse. Speaking of the devil, there he is right now. Yeah, I'll keep that. I've seen better, I've seen worse. Alrighty. Yeah, maybe they've been on vacation. I know. I'll tell you. Like I was saying the other day on Facebook, that first week or two when Astrolabe was out, I was just like, ugh, didn't want to play Magic. I just got so tired of every turn being that way. And I got over it. All right. We're going to lean a little bit more heavy on the uh, Trinket Mage play here than any sort of combo, unless we draw it. Got to look for that window. You got to lean a little heavier on the Godhead combo just because there's only four of them. You don't need it to win, but boy, does it help. I think the games that you play it, Especially game one, it's probably in the high 90% of the games you're going to win that way. You know, even in a matchup like Elves, which I still haven't lost to yet, but I hate that matchup. I see Elves and I get really worried, and I faced it three times, and I've gotten it all three times, but it's it's usually because, you know, the unblockability of being able to stay ahead on life, and then games two and three, the journey's picking up the guys you can't deal with, and then the uh, Prismatic taking care of everything else. So, Why have you decided to not play Helium's Pilgrim? Just... Uh, don't really find a need it. Um, I 
if anything's gonna go it might be one or two of the ponders keeping the preordained package not quite sure all right I'm gonna use this while we've got the initiative I'm gonna drop this here might run into a uh, condescend or something we've got plenty more what do we have here I use up their counter magic here that's okay with me open up the yard it's that typical thing in Chimsky. I mean, the vast card pool, right? You can you can mix and match. But yeah, if you're curious about doing it, um, I think Bone Splitter, the Pilgrim. I love this play. I love 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 that play. That's great. Good job. One of the best cards. We've got many other ways to get rid of their graveyard, and that's one less thing we got to worry about for our combo. Shouldn't really even call it. It's a, it's a very soft combo. All right, expedition map showing up. I'll throw that there. Okay. Let me preordain here. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's see. Man, my right click just does not want to work here. Top, top. Bring this here. You know what? I'm going to attack. want any sort of uh, abuse going on with regards to uh, what do you call uh, ghostly flickering trinket mages and starting to get some engine going there two power plants out the map is gonna have to trip a little bit of a mana investment we've got mold drifter coming online ah with some counter spell backup in theory It's that perceived value to it. It's like, oh, that's part of the combo. I got to block that. It's like, yeah, there's eight of them. Well, seven this game, but who's counting? Not me. All right. Tron is here next turn. We will play this. One of the benefits of playing Astrolabe, you can just drop Ash Barons. No prob. Two, three. Let's cast with Evoke. Keep things nice and neat. Always make sure to click on Evoke first if you're new to Moldrifter. Well, that worked out well. We'll do this on this for Card Advantage Town. Let's counterspell backup. Let's see what we can get. Are we going to draw six cards? Woo! And we get the uh, Dispel backup. I like this. And the relic shows up and we can protect it. All right. Things are looking up. Let's go like this. I think Nim Chimsky to answer your question a little bit better. <clears throat> if I had three ephemerates, maybe Methonical and I, uh, we talked about a similar list like this early on and he's definitely a better player between us. And I would think he even was suggesting just one ephemerate but I, uh, I like using them as um, dispels. And I keep my finger off the auto yield button here. I'm so used to playing just aggro and not having control in my hand. It's a new era, I tell ya. What have we here? Yay, hey, yay, yeah, yeah. did not want to see that. Oh well. It's not like you can bounce much of anything of consequence here. Okay. Huh. I'm actually going to lose a mall drifter. <laughs> I'll just say no on that. No reason to go crazy. I'll drop here. Let me, uh, I'll rock the sky fish, bringing this dude back. I'll start chewing up their yard and I will double block this. A 
those horrors uh, are up a game. I gotta remember that. How am I down in time? See, when you start blabbermouthing, he's already got Tron, so he can have that map. Denver of a horror, yes, indeed. That's, that was, that's always an endearing word with, with me because my youngest, when he was starting to play Magic, there was a card, there was something, something horror, and he kept accidentally saying horror because he just couldn't get the R on there. And we're like trying to explain to him, that's kind of a bad word. You don't want to just kind of let that slip out. And <laughs> Awkward Magic tabletop conversation with the fam. All right, what do we got going on here? Amnonic wall, we're going to say a big fat no to that. Get. Turn off this nastiness. Yeah, Stephen D's been around for quite a while. He used to be quite a grinder, if I remember right. What do we have here? Three colorless. Pimpin' for a blue, probably. There it is. What do we have? What do we got? Yeah, that's a big fat no on that. What's he targeting here? Oh, those two. Okay. Yeah, we'll say no to that. No soup for you. Come on over. Let's, uh, that'll be there, that'll be that. I'm gonna hold on the uh, mold drifter there. I'd rather just, uh, cool. Like that. I'm gonna rock here with these guys. Start attacking. I'll start eating the yard up. Love having two of these. Let's uh, do this. And this. Double trigger, I can double block them, fine two for one in there. We've got a mold drifter reset with counter spell in hand. Feeling okay. Could get away from us. Moist clams in the house, time to unban gush for sure. <laughs> I was just getting so used to, uh, I think I want to counter that. Two cards in hand, what do they got? Come on. One card left, okay. Well, at least we'll be able to reset here. Any day of the week, then rove a horror. Two, three, four, five. Cast this. Reset the hand. Combo in play. Let's start eating the yard. Here we go. This one. Yeah, it's interesting you bring that up, uh, Moist Clams. It'd be interesting if instead of always just throwing the ban hammer down, if they started restricting. I think if you only allowed people to play two gush, it'd be fine. This coming from the guy that doesn't think Hypnotarok would really upset the format much. Well. We're gonna lean on this in case they've got artifact hate. What do we have here? Condescend maybe for that kind of mana. It sure is. Um, there's only one card in their hand. I'm gonna pitch this just in the hopes that we draw some counter magic. I said counter magic. <laughs> All right, I guess they get it. Nope, you can have your little condescend. I'll definitely ponder here right after I zap that. Ponder this. Maybe find a counterspell or a dispel. 
Yuck, don't like any of this. Yeah, I want to shovel all of that. All right, give me a dispel. Come on. Come on now. No. I'll go for it. Let's get the counter magic, please. Come on. All right. Missed out a little bit on the uh, attack there with the mold drifter play, but I was just looking for counter magic. Pretty sure that was the correct line. Biased says <laughs> Weiss Clam. <laughs> Every time that little emoji that you, the guy with the uh, the bald dude with the goatee, that reminds me of one of my buddies, Armin, so much. I always think it's him. It's like, how did you do that? Oh wait, it's like a prerequisite if you're bald, just have a uh, goatee. It seems to be like about 80% of the bald guys out there. It's like they're compensating for the loss of hair loss on their head, so they move it to their chin. All right, relics going back to our hand. We'll discard the barons. One card in our opponent's hands, that's fine. Relics have done a lot of work here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, we are going to we are all about the mold drifter here. Draw some more cards. Engines online. Play this now. Oops. Always do that. The way that ephemerate title hits. We still get another card. Woo! All right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play this main. Draw. Come on. Counter magic. Jeez, oh, Pizzo. What is going on here? Relic out. I'll pay one. I really want to find counter magic, but I doubt it. Let's just run over with this. Long game two. Woo! This is a little fight. All right. Ken Waku likes. Yeah, well, you're going to love the next commercial, Ken Waku, because. I take a quick uh, bathroom break and then uh, we're going to debut Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse. Just the most ridiculous commercial I've ever made. And that's saying something. All right. Feeling good, feeling good. Got control of the yard. We're pretending we have Dispel in our hand. Y'all know we do, right? We got a pretty nice air attack in two more turns. That damn Rhino got in the way of my plans. And you know what? Let's go. You ain't gonna start whittling me down, baby. Only got two cards in your hand. You get one, I get one, unless you got some combat trick. In that case, you're almost hellbent, and I'm fine with that. Uh, da, da, da. Moments peace on the offensive end. We like that. Tells us a lot about their hand, and we're going to be able to eat it with the uh, relic there. Be pretty dumb for them to flash it back since Stonehorn's on the stack. All right. Liking that. We'll eat the yard just out of uh, pure theory, I guess. Play this, play this, play this. Come on, Counter Magic, where you at? Drop another one of these. I'll cycle this. <laughs> Two more lands in our deck. Woo, all right. It's my digital payday. It's such a weird era. Phone beeps, tells you your bank account's got a bunch of money in it. <laughs> and Chimsky, I like Astrolabe too, but I was hoping that people were a bit more creative with it. And turning room, they're all playing the same Astrolabe list. Yeah. Well, hey, man, that's where I come in, right? I ain't running red. Might be running for the hills. All right, thank you. Gosh, it's nice when your deck shows up, right? All right, well, we're kind of doing to this guy what our last dude did to us. Uh, if we attack with everything, do we just win? Two, four, six, eight, ten, we do. I'm willing to risk that. Let's go. We've got a reset dude in our hand. We only get to lose one dude. Now one 
card up. Are we going to finish our 0-2 with a 2-0? Let's hope. Oh, he's trying to return our dude. Well, he's hellbent, so this is game here. I mean, you could... I could relic my own guy. That might have been the better play there. Because then I could choose which one I'm losing, but... All right. So, hey, how good does that feel, right? We always run into Tron. And... Uh, able to run it over. I'm going to take a bathroom break, get some coffee, and in about three minutes, don't go anywhere, Arkham's Astrolabe will be right after the offensive geist of St. Conan. Woohoo! What the, what was that? Ba, 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 boo. Where's that singing coming from? It's coming from me. Ba, 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 boo. Oh my God, does anyone say it's a ghost? That, that's right, Junior. The name's Artie Kendall. I sang in this studio back in the late 1930s. 19 years, that's right. This used to be a radio studio back in the day. You sang on the old NBC radio show? I sure did. Wrote all my own songs, too. Of course, no one today would want to hear my silly old song. We would love to hear them. Wouldn't we like to hear his songs, folks? Is, a ghost comes by from the 30s. You got to hear his songs. Go ahead, yeah. Okay, folks, here's a little tune I wrote at the height of the Depression. Times were pretty tough, and I wrote this song for all the out-of-work hobos out there. <laughs> I've heard that lots of hobos live in caves <laughs> And they're spreading across this land of ours in waves They're riding on the rails We should throw them all in jail Or round them up and make them all our slaves wait, Oh my god, that, that, wait a minute, that's, that's horrible, that's a horrible song you Didn't care for the melody, eh, Jimmy? Well, the melody was fine, it was actually kind of catchy, but the lyrics the lyrics are terrible. They're insane. Well, let's change the subject then. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? Well, that, that sounds nice. Okay, sure. All right. Here you go. Oh, women shouldn't be allowed to talk. <laughs> we should seal their lips with strong adhesive cough. And if they try to write things down, we should drag them out of town and anesthetize their legs so they can't walk. Okay, okay, wait a minute. No, no, I'm sorry. That. No, that. No, that. I'm. Don't listen to them. That that song was that song was worse than the first one. That's terrible. Say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish. Here you go. Irishmen pour whiskey on their meat. Oh, for God's sakes. And they always wake up face down in the street. <laughs> After booze goes down their throats, they all have sex with goats. <laughs> so the kids oh, have cloven hooves instead of feet. That's, I'm sorry, that's, that's just wrong. Arkham Discount Astrolabe Warehouse, your one-stop shop for Astrolabes. From Arkham to Ethereum, our Astrolabes come in all shapes and sizes. Perfect for any occasion. Use them to navigate, calibrate, estimate, or melt them down and masticate. Arkham Discount Astrolabe Warehouse. Come see our amazing selection of Astrolabes. Buy four and get the next four free. Now with over ten locations in New Archive. Arkham Discount Astrolabe Warehouse. And remember, if the name Arkham's not on it, you better pawn it. So what'd you guys think? Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse is uh, now in the books. I think it might be our 30th custom commercial. It's close. It's within one or two. Might even be over that by now. I'm not sure. I should I should really write these things down. But So yeah, we uh, lost to Jess Guy. A lot closer than it felt. Oh, thank you, Ken Waku. Much appreciated, my friend. Yeah, I really over-modulated the voice kind of for that puke talk and then went through so many eqs probably doesn't show but then put a nice vhs grain on everything just so it kind of felt cheesy uh late night 1980s tv so 
<laughs> moist clams thank you thank you oh my gosh thank you for the love my friends um and then we just ran over tron and that's been happening i keep thinking like i'm going to uh wake up and it's not going to be that easy but it tends to uh, have just enough counter magic and a lot of hate and enough pressure seems to be the formula sometimes you drop a game or two but um but that first matchup i really want to kind of rewatch that because uh even though we lost 0-2 it didn't feel that much of a blow up we were we we're close but just that mismanagement of relic in in the uh last game there so okay here we go we got bouncy screens in full effect today our man is right combos in hand and we've got draw we're going to keep this I'm just going to get my mana right. I tend to like to do that. I'm a purist. Ramanelli. <laughs> and remember, if the name Arkham's not on it, you better pawn it. <laughs> I giggled when I thought of that one. If you look really closely at that storefront, I spent about four hours on that. There are a lot of Easter eggs. If you're not, if English isn't your first language, that means kind of hidden private jokes. The biggest one being right on the front door. All right, what do we got? Heroic! This will be interesting. I predict we lose the first game and we win the next two. My prediction for the fight? Pain. Let's get our dude online. I'm going to lean on the knight. Even game one. <laughs> yeah, Easter eggs is a term in the movie trailer business where you just kind of put a... I wouldn't say an invisible hint. I mean, you put a hint out there that something's amiss. Little little clues. Oh, okay, Nimchin. I I can't keep straight of which which country everybody lives in and stuff like that. Oh, it's the number one card this deck does not like to see. All right, we're gonna dig deep with Ponder. That's what we like. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, let's go like this nope play this i think i'm just gonna put out a roadblock there i'll attack here in hopes that he blocks this is all about we don't really i don't know if they run journey main i doubt they do We're probably gonna see a mutagenic here which i'm much that's fine Nice play. We're going to be able to keep ahead life total wise with their steal of the Godhead, but that stops us from blocking next turn. Oh, you never have to worry about misspelling against a dyslexic guy like me. I, I tend to read words that aren't there pretty often, so no savior typing. <laughs> if it's close, I'll get it. I think my prediction is going to round out. Or one and one. We lost to the. Uh, I just call it the USA deck. I know it's probably a bit biased being from the USA, but it's just that catch-all, red, white, and blue, astrolabe, good stuff, damage, draw, everything. Hey, why am I not playing that? That sounds like a pretty good deck. What kind of fool takes red out and puts their makes their deck all protection from red? But and a big shout out to Little Fight on Tuesday night. Gosh, I think it was like 3 a.m. your time, and you're keeping up with me, my friend. So that was pretty fun. All right. Let's get our life on board with this. Next turn, we'll start maybe play like the uh, Outlander block, ephemerate it if we don't draw anything else. But in this case, against this kind of a deck, I've, I've got to start uh, chipping at their life and also gaining my own. So Similar strategies. There's a little bit more focus. That's why they're probably going to get a scheme one. Don't like seeing that. When white starts using cantrip, it's scary. There's a reason there's not many good ones. Defiant strikes right on the border there. Every time I brew with it, I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. I haven't played Heroic in a while. I feel like playing Heroic. And I said, I'm sorry last week. I said we were going to do a community thing this week. But, you know, everybody's out of town this weekend. And I uh, got the house to myself. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to grind and play kind of a more of a controlled deck, this is probably the weekend to do it. So maybe next week we'll do the community thing. We'll see. Yep, Dizzlexia. That's how I say it too. All right. Well, I need some land. Or we're just gonna be over quick. Ugh, not that land. Yikes. Bottom, bottom. 
I'm gonna stay with that land. Ooh, this is getting ugly quick, folks. Um, you know, I could could still draw it. Let me go get it. Go and get it. There it is. Uh, we'll say I already got one. We'll say bottom top. Throw this here. Took a while to get there, but our mana's feeling right. Hmm. Come on, run out of... Well, at least there's no Astrolabes this game. We've only seen like 19 up till now. It's pretty fitting for the Astrolabe Warehouse commercial to be aired then, right? Like that's a use them to navigate, calibrate, estimate, or melt them down and masticate. <laughs> so ridiculous. I've been sleeping terribly, pain injuries. Oh man, yeah. Little fight's been out of commission. All right. Four life and can't block. I'm gonna run you right in front of this. Yeah, because we've got Trinket back up. I'd rather blink Trinket. He's got a trick here. At least it's less damage we're taking. We're playing even right now, but okay. Raminelli playing heroic very well. Yeah, I think you bit off a bit more than you could chew there. Little fight. That's a young man's job you were doing. Now his back's paying the price. Yeah, it's the downward spiral of injuries that always seems to happen after about 30 years old. Just like a little weekend warrior thing, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait a minute. Well, at this stage, I think we're just going to grab a... Uh, Astrolay, right? Yeah. Sure as hell don't need the other thing. Let's pay for it. Hopefully they're just out of tricks here. At least they're not going to be gaining life anytime soon. We're going to be drawing a lot of cards off of the uh, trinket, but boy, we might have to start blocking that uh, the big boy. All right. I'm going to probably throw that on the flyer. Interesting. I want to keep... If we're going to... I don't think we can win this game one, the way the board's set up now, even though they're pretty low on cards. Um, we can. We can come back, but the key's going to be really stopping that Seeker from getting out of control with life there. Regardless, we're going to take like eight... Damn wind. Okay, no life for you. Our dude will live. At least we'll start drawing a lot of cards here. Yes. Astrolabe Warehouse. Here it comes. Yeah, you got any arena questions? Little Fight's your guy. He grinds on that pretty regularly. I think it's been two months since I've even fired it up. My son plays with me sometimes, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be winning this one, guys. we got to lean really heavily on Prismatic Strands, games two and three. And uh, if it wasn't for this, I'd be out of this game a long time ago. We'll do it again, friends. Woo! Here we go. Let's grab another one. Yeah, baby. Here we go. All right, and draw. And it helps a little bit. Uh, let's see, we could do that and that. We're just kind of dead here, aren't we? I'm going to need to block there. I have to put down a blocker, a couple of them. And keep counterspell back up. That might be cool. Let's uh, yeah, let's drop this dude, and I think we just keep counterspell back up, and we let the trinket mage die. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If we just do that, we block, block. We'll take two, four, five, six. Hmm. If we 
it doesn't have a spell next turn. That elite's going to make us block something. And then we'll block that guy. So we'll take two, four, five, six. Let's attack. Get our life total up. Journeys and this is a Prismatic strands. Good news is we've got four spots open without the relic and such, our trinket mage. One card in hand still, sorry about that. In we go with all the boys. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Sadly, about the only way out of this would be if this guy could survive, we could enchant him and start swinging for eight. Okay, he protects that dude. No damage. We have another blocker. I kind of don't roll off. I, it's a little bit too much animation for me. I, I do get used to it once I play, but then when I go back to this, it's such a... It's kind of like a... I don't know. I don't want to sound like an old man. I like reading a newspaper or something. It's just, you know, you, you, you get the lay of the land. I see what's going on. There's no frills. It's like poker. I don't need a bunch of... Uh, crazy animations going all over the place. All right, uh, we're gonna need, uh, I've already got one ephemerate down. I think we just play this for the creature. All right. We're stuck doing that again. I can at least block there and there. Let's say those two are taken up by those. So that's, let's say that's a three, six. Yeah, I think we're dead either way here. That instant's not gonna do too much work, but I'd rather be at nine life than, let's keep swinging. Hopefully they just got a land in their hand. If we could survive this turn, we might actually have a shot at this. Yeah, you gotta be careful that that additional godhead's only like worth two, so a little fight's right. Becomes a six six, doesn't jump up to an eight eight. Or, you know, integrate them like you're suggesting, Rolos, and then Yeah, that should be game right there. And then uh, have an option like you right click and you can just play like simplified animation. I know you can turn down animations a little bit, but we can just have a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Well, I think our mole drifter is going to eat shit here. Sorry to swear, but got to be accurate. That's a good call. Mole drifter cannot block the big old flyer. He's going to gain a bunch of life. We're going to go like this and this. He's going to take seven. Unless he's got a trick up his sleeve. Even Dispel's not really going to work there. Because it'll still trigger. And we're at two. There's a dead draw. <coughs> hmm. Ephemerate would be a pretty good card to draw right about now. Well, let's go looking for cards. Play the Astrolabe Warehouse. Not a help. Let's draw some more cards. Let's draw something good, please. No. 
I don't think we could survive here. We can gain six, assuming that they just draw a mountain. Yeah, now we've got a block, 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 block. So we lose this one. We'll concede here. Down a game to Heroic. No biggie. I think we'll be able to win this through. Somebody mind looking up the uh, latest Heroic lists or this guy's and let me know if, how much uh, pain they're running. Standard Bearer's in. Journey's in. This is going to be a pretty heavily boarded matchup. All the strands in. We lose the trinket. We lose the relic. We lose a uh, dispel and a ponder. Now we've got to lose few more here. I really like Ephemerate in this matchup just for the uh, tricks of being able to keep things alive and we're going to be able to really lean on Journey. Um, if you don't know, you cast Journey with Skyfisher out, you blink it and you get your Journey back and the creature's removed for good. So we're going to lose um, I'm going to go like this. We're only going to keep one to spell in case they have artifact removal, we're going to, you know, there's not any red in their deck. So this is just a, a bear that combos well with this. So we're just going to kind of keep it straight there. So Liquid Vago, afternoon from Gen Con. Nice. Okay. Let's go. One and one. Fighting for our lives here. A little bit of an overestimation there. Bouncy screen in full effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Let's see some hate. Okay, we've got pretty much what we need. It'd be nice if we had an astro lay, but we'll keep this. We've got early counter magic, which I think I'm going to lean on, depending on what we see here. Just want to see some lands. Okay. Uh, bottom here. We'll say top here. Astrolabe shows up, Ash Barons is just like a bird of paradise land. We're fine with it. We don't have to cycle it. Ooh, I like this a lot. Because now we've got a we got ourselves a chance. Or do we? Let's just get our dude out there. Maybe they have a standard bear. We gotta be careful of that scenario too. So secluded step showing up. We'll lean a little aggro here. We got both our counter spells and our opener, so uh, a lot riding on this next turn. Okay, that's interesting. We've got a blocker in our Skyfisher, but I'm just going to try to outrace them at this stage. We've got an opening. Let's take it. It's neat too, because like in these matchups where you don't see red, it's still a really good card. We're going to tap everything next turn if we don't draw anything better. Play Skyfisher and then cycle Ash Barons with its own mana to go get blue. A little hurting for mana here. Ah, oh, god dang it. I think we might be going down here, guys. Well, we could still draw Journey to Nowhere. We're going to have to draw it pretty quick. And remember, this is not hexproof. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna cycle this for blue. Change of plans. Play it. And we're just gonna attack. So we're kinda staying even here for the time being. I'd rather be able to counter. Then we'll see what we can do with that uh, mole drifter there. So opponent looks a little flooded. If Femrate shows up, we can uh, block with Mold Drifter and stop that life package from happening, but the, we're only taking one a turn with the way things are happening. Yeah, that's a damn good counter right there. No more life for you, dude. Get out. All right. Yeah, we should. We only run four of them. There we go. And we'll keep counter magic up. And there we go. Is it scoop time? Can't be. Too early. No. I should have done that first. That way, if we didn't have the counter, we'd have to eat our own dude. Note to you new players out there. Uh, 
All right. Come on. Don't have any more creatures. I think they pray. Bad news for heroic when that happens, they tend to kind of go all in. And so, well, speak of the devil. There's some more, but at least he's not getting life this time. Be amazed too how often people keep a blocker back in tight games when they see, uh, like, the scenario right now. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll block that. It's like, oh crap, that's right, you can't block it. I'll say top and top. Let's. Uh, Let me bring down Sky Fisher. I'm going to bring back Ash Barons, but I'm not going to cycle it because I really want that other Mold Drifter showing up. All right. Here we are. And since we don't have a... Uh, Femrate hasn't shown up yet. Make sure to click Evoke first. Draw two cards. Come on. What do we get? I did miss a land drop. You are correct. Yeah, first punt of the day. Wah, wah, wah. Let's cycle. Go get another island. Good to go here. I'm just going to attack here. I got a nice fast clock. I know, I know. Thank you for keeping me honest, guys. The second I did that, I was like, wait, I thought I could play Moldrifter. Oh, I forgot to drop the land. It's a lack of coffee, I tell you. That's my excuse. Destroy target aura attached to a creature. Devout Harpist. Interesting. Much better to just play Aura Fracture. Why? Because you have to wait a whole turn. It's a big telegraph move there. That's, that's awesome for our combo. But... Might be a wee bit too little too late. Speak of the devil. We hit for six here and then two next turn as long as we can do that. I'm just going to drop the, uh, let's do it out in case they've got double flyers next turn. We should be fine. Cool. Let's double click on the land always just to make sure. Fix the coffee bug ASAP. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're going to go to a game three. Outside of Journey, our sideboard really didn't show up. Opponent had a bit of a flood draw, which happens to all, all of us. So here comes game three. All right. I like the way we boarded. Holy Light has no place in this matchup. Hey, Aaron. If it can hear me, never mind. I like how I'm boarded here. Yeah, I don't want to go too all in with the ponder over a Valken and Alkaline. I mean, they are blockers. Those bears are pretty nice in a format where red removes everything, so. Boop -a -doo. Hey, the screen didn't bounce. It's a new day, I tell you. My oldest is off in Vegas at a basketball tournament, playing probably one of his last professional, semi-professional games. He's off to college in like two weeks. Oh, glad I remember that. In about two weeks, I'll miss the show because we're going to be uh, driving up north for him to go to college. So, yeah, we're keeping this. Boy, where have our astrolabes been? We play the commercial and then they disappear. Maybe everybody's doing that deal that I mentioned. Uh, buy four and get the next four free. It's my little dig at the format for everybody playing too many of them. I'm just going to be honest here. I don't got a one blue mana spell that stops and everybody knows that. So just avoid Murphy's Law and let's keep moving. This stage of the game. Let's... Uh, I'm going to hold off on killing that right away. I kind of want him to invest some stuff on it. We don't always have the journey, right? It'd be nice to wait till turn four so we got counterspell back up again if they do have uh, all of their tricks. Hmm. 
Okay. They take two, we take four. Pretty good trade. Oh, I wish our Skyfishers could do something. Let's attack. Happy to trade here. If he's got another mutagenic trick or something similar. I'll drop a Skyfisher just to kind of feel where they're at with, uh, with all this stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to return this. I'm going to keep my land drops going in case Ephemerate shows up with the Journey to Nowhere and Counterspell back up. There are quite a few. Uh, I'm going to make them go all in here. Let's go. I've got more Skyfishers to burn, and I just need time. He needs to kill me quick, so this is fine. Merge unscathed. Good times. Yowza. It's gonna keep slow rolling here, guys. Let that big boy come on in for a lot. And, um, all right, I'll keep the tempo on my side this time. Really, really, really want to ephemerate here cast journey and then blink the sky fisher and be able to take out quite a few guys I'll take four here protection from blue that was a strange play okay deck sure isn't helping here two cards left I can't take too much more damage I'm gonna lean on this now can always blink it with ephemerate later and still get the uh, value out of it but let's see if we can take this big dude out okay good times I'll attack here hold back problem with heroic counter the spell they still get the bonus a lot of the time so I didn't know we heard him that uh, that mutagenic it's a pretty even game right now one top deck away on both of our parts. Okay. <laughs> That's just kind of like a bad draw right now, I think. I don't mean to insult the uh, design. It's just... Please keep casting those. It's something you don't want your opponent to say. More bears! Yeah, Devotion to White. Good call. Come on over. Like casting the other one first so that they don't want to block even more. It's like, oh, well, you know. Hmm. All right, that is enough lands, deck. No more, please. Where's our mold drifter and ephemerate? That'd be really nice for doing now. That's fine. Spread pretty thin here. I mean, we don't really have an attack after that, but what are they on? If they had lands, they'd be playing it. I'm really hurting to see what they might be on. Maybe some fog effect? Maybe they're just hoarding lands. Once you got two white areas up. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to rock like this attack here I can block one of those in response to ephemerate turn the journey eh, I don't know if I want to do that <laughs> okay watch we end up dying to like harpist weenie
I'm not sure if that's even worth it. I'm gonna save the ephemerate. That's a that's bad magic. You get it back, play it again, you get that's just silly. And we are rewarded with one of the best plays in the new era of Popper. You pay a blue, two, and a white, and you draw six cards if all goes according to plan. Not <laughs> herpist. <laughs> Finally, our sideboard shows up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then some. All right. Did we play a land? I know I've already made that mistake once today. All right, well, I'll just keep swinging in here. Our combo is just hiding, and our poor opponent has this, like, answers for days. He probably thinks we're just hoarding our godhead in our hand and don't want to play it, but it's quite the opposite. It's like we just don't have it. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Skyfisher's got too much uh, validity right now with this board state. Celestial Flare, I've never liked that card. It's gotten me plenty of times, don't, don't get me wrong. So yeah, this Prismatic's feeling crazy. Crazy good. Yep, yeah, we're doing this. Booyah! And we draw. All right, that's enough lands. Let's go get rid of some more so we don't keep drawing them. Play that. I'll do this for more ground control just to prevent some sort of a sweep mentality coming up. Yep. Attack. Wow. Has it got another Celestial Flare? Okay. They go all out. I think we got this one. I feel bad. We went all in with that Devout Harpist play and we haven't drawn a single Godhead. I feel a little justified if he drew some, but... Ooh, we like this. No tricks for you. Well, there are some tricks in their deck that say uh, target creature you control. I gotta be careful to keep my white sources available here. I don't have uh, halfway through our deck and we haven't drawn a single astrolabe. That's kind of weird. So we hope he double blocks here with the uh, sky guards and we're able to uh, guess not. What do we have here, folks? Well, it's a beautiful sounding battlefield. We have three harpists. Centaurs are prone to play with that. We've got angelic things going on. Maybe some uh, trumpets and horns. All right. That goes according to plan. Another win. I seriously, just the way I've been running on this deck, I think I'm before today, I think I was like 17 and three or something. It's pretty crazy. So I thought we'd go 5 0, but hope, I'll be happy with a 3 2 because of the whole Twitch ghost and, uh, you know, streaming issues and stuff like that. So, all right. I'm just going to shut off any sort of access to spoils. Come on, just concede here. I think if we saw our hand, they definitely. Oh, I think it was Tidal Visionary. I was trying to, I was getting a little cutesy the other day thinking of, um, we'll uh, rock right into the next one here. Um, of changing things, colors, and forcing them to, you know, your bears to be relevant and stuff like that. It'd be pretty funny. All right, here we go off to round four. We're two and one. Spiriter? Huh? Seems like messed up. Oh yeah, I don't know what you meant either. There, little fight. All righty. Yeah, we want to play first. I've seen better. If we're going against red and we draw white, this is gonna feel like a godsend. The only thing that's making me almost want to keep this is the relic because we can trip it. Ah, uh, what do you guys think here? I gotta use the restroom. In chat, keep or scoop? Or <laughs> pass, you know what I mean?
Okay, I leave for a minute, ask you guys if I should scoop, and you, nobody says anything. Ah! Mulligan. Keep. All right. Now what do we throw back? Probably... I'll throw back this spell. Then... Watch, well, it's just teachings or something. We're like, son of a bitch! Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read up. Sorry. My bad. All right. The most original play in all of Popper on turn one. Astrolabe. Woo! Into an Outlander. Let's just top deck the enchantment and have a nice, fastest blitz win. That doesn't happen yet. All right. Tron it is. Maybe I should rename the deck Tron Spanker. Well, I better wait till we beat him. It'd be just my style, right? Claim something like that and just be like, wait a minute, I take it back. Oh, that is our most prominent island. Once the astrolabe's out, we're fine. Let's go get a relic and start smashing. Actually, I think the Sky Fisher might be the better play here. Into an astrolabe. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. There's nothing in the yard yet, so Relic's not that amazing right now. I mean, I don't want to wait too long on it, but if he counters this, that'll suck, but we've got Trinket right behind it, so... Okay, that's fine. I got Trinket behind it. We can go grab another one, but that's gonna screw up our Relic plan. Yeah, a little bit of a gamble there. I'm all right. No artifact lands. No, in those weird games where you, you're going to draw one and Astrolabe's going to be out and you'll be like, son of a gun. Methonical himself gave this the A-OK -okay for uh, mana, so I ain't sweating it. We'll drop this. Make him feel like a Kanabaru. What's this? A little counter happy, isn't he? Look at that. All right. Well, I'll go get another one. Actually, at this stage, I think I might want to just... Uh, what do you guys think? Relic or uh, Arkham? Hmm. I'm gonna grab a relic. Let's make him feel like, yeah, those count, the double counter spells on that. I don't even need it. I'm holding the plane for all he knows. Now he's got another must counter and tr ah crap. Ah, I played Tron maybe six times in my life. I have never, even with good hands, and it, it's always a fight to get it. What sort of devilry is this? What do we have here? Is he going red? No. Oh, oh, didn't roll a horror time. All right. That ain't so bad. Cool. Value town. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. Oh, that's cool. Let's throw this on this. Bit of a gamble here. Right here. Let's attack. At least we'll know if they've got a uh, a blink in hand. Do they have everything? They usually do. Boy, you wouldn't think I've had as much coffee as I have today. The way I'm feeling, I feel like I could take a nap. 
trinket showing up. All right, I'll get this out of the way. Kneel through the stern. Trying to preserve our clock for some reason. They're supposed to be the one losing time. I woke up this morning. I played one Tron matchup, <laughs> and I lost. Um, and they had zero seconds left. I was like, oh, come on. If I would have just asked one question or tapped something a little bit differently. But no. Right. Here we go. One, two, three. We will do this. Evoking. Come on now. All right. Oh, there's our goods. Up here. We'll turn this. Do this. Astrolabe Warehouse. Buy four, get the next four free. That would be quite a trip. Go down, go down the block of some place, and you're just like, "Hmm, I am really tempted to block that." I'm gonna block that. Just want to know what's in their hand. We've got relic. We got counter spell. No damage, exactly what I was thinking was going to happen. Kind of proof of concept. Show me your hand. A bit reckless on my part, but it had the desired ref effect. Flicker in the yard. I've got plenty of these. I'm actually going to lose it. That'd be so weird. You come around the corner in some old town and it's just Arkham's Astrolabe Warehouse and you just go in there and they're like, no, we don't sell any sextants. You want Astrolabe? You came to the right place. It's like, how long do you think they could keep the lights on for? Might be like a two-week storefront. Be halfway to the rent and they'd be like, yeah, we haven't made anything. <laughs> Maybe if you opened like in November before the holidays in places that celebrate Christmas, you might, you know, it's a nice trinket. I do own an astrolabe. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook. You've seen it. I mean, poking fun. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Got it for my wife. Very pretty to look at. Uh, I'll drop the trinket. I'll say yeah on that. Yep. We'll go grab another one. I think I'm going to lean on killing their yard more than anything here. Bring that down. Bring that down. What do we got here? Okay. I'm going to trip this. Attack. <laughs> Good point, Nimchimsky. Come on over. All right. Yeah, it's our turn again. It's always a good feeling. We'll do this. Bottom top. I'll drop here. Two cards in our opponent's hand. And I will double block that Denrova Horror. That's pretty much their out. Seems the games I've done that I've never lost, so I'm going to keep doing it until I feel like an idiot. I'm 
from that to must counter. Do they have the counter back? They do. Kunabaru. No ghostly flicker. Come on. I don't really have a response if he has a uh, trick here, but I'm not gonna double block. It's a bad play. Let's block here. Another stone horn. Gosh, darn it. All right. Oh, we can at least double block the horror with counterspell back up. I want to start hoarding lands now. That's fine. In case something does get bounced, makes our attack step very clear and easy to understand. I'm fine with this. And we'll double block. No more lands, please. Start getting nibbled by a mole drifter ourselves. I can always pitch that in response to go grab a must counter, but three cards in. We really want to see Godhead show up here. Pretty much negate their attack and put them on a two turn clock. This will help. Let's go see if we get it. Godhead! I counter that. Hmm. Bottom. Top. I mean, I guess we can play that next turn. So we feign counter magic here. It's a nail biter, folks. Hmm. That's going to make things more difficult. But they've only got one card in hand now. Somebody look up this deck list and see if they they do run Rolling Thunder. That'd be a little nerve wracking. All I got to worry about is getting mushed to death by Mold Drifter. I think I'll be all right. Hmm. And my throat is so sore from, like I said, sleeping with the window open. <clears throat> yeah, boy, they wizards just cannot get storm right. Mark my words, not anytime soon, but in a couple years, that's going to get banned. One, two, three, four, five. Let's cast this. Hello. I'll do this. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. Woo! Um, let's do this for the Mole Drifter. Value Town. Ankleosaur is in the house. It's been a while, my friend. As for Stormblade going deep on multicolored creatures for the aura, seems like having a 3 2 flare sometimes might be okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, it used to be just kind of a uh, deck, and now it's like. I, I mentioned last week, I think somebody ran it. I was like, boy, all those Esper blade decks and stuff. Perfect, perfect. Oh, man. They're coming right back in it. All right. All right. Hopefully the second Mole Drifter play will, uh, on our end, will net a uh, enchantment that we can start getting our life total back in the uh, swing of things here. 
Nice, we've shut off their graveyard shenanigans. Ah, oh, damn horror shows up. Well, at least we got something to pitch here. And we'll get rid of this. We're gonna take two more. Hmm. Make that three. One block here. Yikes. I might be needing some options here. Four, five. If I do that, I can get one out. That's not enough, is it? I gotta try to stay alive against Tron. What is this all about? Bring this up. Bring this back. We'll play uh, this. I'll return one of these. We'll uh, cycle one of these. Get one of these. Go like this and feign like we've got counter magic, which we don't. We gotta be careful. Our life is in jeopardy. Next turn we can do some cute stuff, but that storm trick put him in the leader seat. Good to see you streaming today. All right, thank you, Inglesor. Yeah, it's we're mixing it up about a month or two now of just kind of random times. A couple maybe two or three days notice on Facebook or Twitch and going with it, so. Shiraz in the house. I know what happened, Shiraz. You thought it was noon, didn't you? <laughs> Changing the times and the dates and the days. What's going on? Come on over, Red Rover. All right. Let's go crazy. We're going to go boom, boom. And uh, I guess we just double block here. Take two. How many more dispels do we have? All three of them in our deck. Ah, oh, damn it. I really want that to be in the yard before I trip this. I don't know if I can... You know what? Let me uh, do this. Put that on the stack, and then I'll trip it. I don't know if this probably won't work, but we really need to find a spell for that. Or the game's over. And we've only got 14 minutes to win again. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for us. Damn it. Well... Never been beaten by Tron like this. This is interesting. Six cards in their hand. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> Pro excuse. <laughs> Speaking of clocks, let's yield through this turn. 24 life. Good grief. I almost want to quit just out of theory. I gotta beat him twice in 14 minutes. I said yield through this turn. I don't know why it was asking me. All right, we're done. Uh, we'll concede this one. Go off to game two. Two one with beat Tron. First time we've dropped a game to Tron in a while. And here's why. Relic. Relic. Uh, maybe two stand, two journeys. Did they, they run a cap size, am I correct, Nim Chimsky? Somebody wants to look up the list, I'd really appreciate it. We can probably take out some Outlanders. They have cap size. I know, there's, that's the problem. 
Well, I want to have hope, so I'm going to bring in uh, one and one. One journey, one standard bearer. So if uh, they do start locking us up with capsize, we at least have a little bit of hope. You can always ephemerate the permanence if they're not um, of the land persuasion. So we've got all four relics, two trinkets. So it's like we're playing with six. Dispel, counterspell. All right, let's go. I get splashed in the eye. Gotta stay aggro here. I know that stack trick wouldn't work, but I don't know. Just hoping they do something in response and we might nab something. But that's when you miss Fairy Macabre. Like, hey, wait a minute. You can't counter this. But they can always respond to it. All right. Yeah, we want to play first. Going to open up the yards. Got okay land. This is a really late game hand. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this because of the preordain. Let me throw this back. Done. We're up here for the preordain. Let's get our mana right. I'll say bottom and then top. There we go. On my hypothesis, <laughs> oh, it's wrong on every level. Wholesome kids cartoon, and you do that to it. Good grief! All right, let's get our mana right. That's why we went south last time. They we got in a counter war over this. Let's see what happens this time. They're gonna really want to get that Tron on board. My goodness, turn three Tron. That must be nice. Never happens to me. Well, we'll at least get a creature out. Drink. Bring this back. Play this. Draw a card. All right. Here we go. Colors on board. This is true, Nimchimski. Ready? You know, with access to six relics, you think we'd see one by now? I'll cycle this so we feel a wee bit safer. Let's attack. Play the Skyfisher. Bring this back. Draw a card. All right, that's enough Skyfishers for a few years. Feeling pretty naked right now. Another one, my goodness. I think the lamest thing about the Denrova Horror, as far as from an opponent's standpoint, is it's multicolored, because Guardian of the Guild Pact would be so good. And I, I had in the very first version of this deck, like two months ago, when I first played the uh, Pop Classic Tuesdays with it, but and it ends up being kind of an expensive bear in a list where everything else still works good. Okay. Oh, that's a good thing to draw right now, isn't it? Three, we'll play this with the evoke. Draw a bunch of cards. All right. Better late than never.
Acrotron, that's what it's feeling like on this end. Come on, let us untap. Gonna go find some dispels and more relics. Get this game online. Ugh, I was afraid of that. My goodness. An avalanche of advantage. I think we're going to go 2-2 two, two here going into the last round. And that will suck. We'll get rid of an Astrolabe. Our man is fine. Good lordy. Why did I choose the wrong turn to tap out? Now it's just going to get bounced a little fight. And we lose two cards, or three. Yep, boy. Tempo play big time. Like, that was a really well-timed. Tapped out. Kind of forced to with the, the ephemerate draw. Even if we hard cast it, we would have been uh, tapped out. Now this falls dead. This back. Let's chew up a yard a little bit. I don't even want to replay it. I want to be able to uh, trip the relic and have a counter spell ready. Let me just sit back. Play babysitter mold drifter here. I know he's got ghostly flicker in hand. I'll trip the relic here. Counter spell back up for when he flickers. If he has a counter for the counter, this game is pretty much dead. And you'll have seen it lose to Tron for the first time. I think maybe five games now. It's a lot of 2-1 victories. It's not always a 2-0 like it was earlier. And on top of that, they're being patient. Darn it. All right. Come on over, mister. All right. Quiet in the chat. Keep me company, guys. It's feeling grim over here. Must have a Marasa. Or another one. Too much advantage here. Can't take too many more hits without Denrova. Had I known the games would be like this, I would have brought in Prismatic Strands. <laughs> Still has the other element. We gotta yield through this turn. It's probably won't. It's gonna get flickered. We're gonna lose our Sky Fisher. Pretty sure this one's over, guys. Too much advantage. That horror showed up fast. You know, I've looked at a lot of these lists and they run two of them. And I'm like, oh, that seems like a little much, but you know, when you start seeing this stuff go, it's it's like, oof, guess not. Lose an astrolabe. Hold out hope for blockers here, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't know how we really survive this. We draw cards. That's how. That'll help a little bit. this back for the plane. Very 
play land. Let's turn it. Well, at least we have a uh, <laughs> dispel. <laughs> we can do something. Uh. <laughs> As we <laughs> slowly go down. Shiraz, you missed the new commercial, man. Probably turning on Pulse of Marasa, I'm imagining. We can at least say something about this. Look, we can do stuff. It's probably going to get countered. Condescends my bet. Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they drop a bunch of cards. Okay. Well, we'll yield through this. It's gonna take a miracle to pull this one off. Can we go three two? Because we're gonna be two two after in about two more minutes. Let's make that. I'll let him finish it out here. I so often keep shows rolling, but since it's a Saturday, we can, we can roll along. All right, two hours, 15 already. But this one's over, guys. We're 2-2. Two, two. We're going to be back with in just a few. I'm going to roll to another Conan Geist skit and be, be back in just a few to hopefully go 3-2. The height of the Great Depression. Great Depression. Okay. A lot of hardworking farmers were going under back then, and I dedicated this little tune to them. Okay. Oh, the farmers say they need a helping hand But I say we should kick them off their land We'll send in lots of cops and burn down all their crops And turn their pastures into desert sand Deserty do Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute that's no, don't apply. That's terrible. Oh, thank you, Paul. What kind of people are you? Well, that's a wonderful. That's people. a horrible song. Too heartwarming, eh? A heartwarming farmer. Farmers are the backbone of this country. That's terrible. Well, one man's backbone is another man's parasite. Oh my God! <laughs> Let's just change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? Okay, a song for the ladies. Well, that sounds fine, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Well. Well, there you go. I. Go ahead, this should be terrific. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Oh, women shouldn't disagree with men. <laughs> if they do, they should be locked up in a pen. We'll shackle them with chains and lobotomize their brains to make damn sure they don't disagree again. Lobotomy loo. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a I have a lot of problems so with that, that song. In the eye. Just you just said in the lobotomy eye. Lou at yes, the end of the I song. Did. got you covered. And you saved hundreds when you switched. Okay. Cool. Now he's really destroying my car. How do you know it's a he? Oh. We're on a mission to save you money. Pepper. Pepper. Yo, yo, all right. Last round coming up. Here we go. Time that good. 
Come on, let's go 3-2. It would be insulting to go any less with this list. Okay hand, not going to complain. Desert. Still not a fan of desert. Keep. I did see that new blue millstone list. That was fascinating. There's a blue card that was released with the with the new stuff that was pretty pretty badass. All right. Uh, let's draw our combo and hope we can just run over whatever this is. Oh, top of the show, I said don't want to face Stompy. One of the other things this is lost to, I think I'm 0-2 against, is Slivers. So I really hope this isn't Slivers. White Border, come on. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> Uh. So I can just summon up bad luck when I'm streaming. All right. So if I beat this, this will be the first time this has ever beaten Slivers. 0 oh, and 2 overall. No, it's not that. It's not the can can tricks or whatever that's called. I guess a lord showing up. Nope. Hey, I'm getting a little lucky there. That's, uh, I think it has replicate. That's a pretty nasty one with the fog decks. That's something I have never played yet on the show anyway. Relic's dead. Everything's dead. Let's, uh, I just really... I think that's it. Yep, that's the one. That one's pretty nasty. I don't need any of this. I'm going to say bottom, bottom. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's go like here with this. Play this. Go get our Astrolabe back. I'm going to attack. Sure we're not. Flanking's no good on D. Protection from red. It's just a license to attack in a deck that thinks you're going to run it. So, a um, little bit of egg on my face, saying how the format's all red. I mean, I don't think that's anybody's going to argue that, but the only, only the first round had access to red. Well, that last game, but you know what I mean. Oh, no, I slept with the doors open and... I got a little runny nose today, so it's it's not that. So we take five and like it. Come on, just have lands. Ugly white bordered lands. All right. I'm going to have to start blocking here pretty soon, but not today. Let's rock like this. I might just enchant the, uh, i got to remember he's got flanking and reach. We do not need that right now. Moncia deck list. All right. Sounds good, my friend. I think I'm going to be cursing my luck in a few more hours with you online. Like, can you believe that? Sliver's last game. At least I didn't face Stompy yet, though. One, two, one, two. I could technically block there. I'm going to attack. Getting a little lucky here. No lords showing up yet. that down slower would expect no less from a twitch show though taking 
five more. Come on, combo. Hey, another turn with no lords. I'm happy. Is this lordless slivers? Something I wouldn't even attempt. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and other creatures get plus one, one. Ouch. Bam. Let's make that no turns if he has another one of these. Or a vines. Yep. We're dead as a doornail, folks. Bloop. Hey, Propaganda. I'm glad I finally get to catch some of the stream. Hey, Cube is better. Good to have you with us in the chat. Yeah, that's kind of our point for doing this whole random show thing is we're uh, able to reach some new people. So we're going to take out our relics. And this is a similar strategy to what we were facing up against with heroic. We just, oops, no holy light. What am I doing? Boop. Standard bearer, lots of journeys. All right, now we're going to take out the spell. I'm going to leave in, it's kind of a trick, trick happy build there. I'll take two of those out. I don't want to take out too many of these dudes. Things all right. I have to really go for the, uh, Hmm. Ah, that's a good. That's a good combat trick. I'm gonna take out dispel. I don't want to just be waiting. Around. I've got counter spells. Ephemerate. Let's go. All right. Cube is better. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, we um have been trying to make it different every single time. It's like Wednesday, Saturday, really early Friday, stuff like that. Just try to catch some new new faces. Yeah, I want to play first, but I'd really like to win first. Woohoo! You know, it's about time, really, that we just kind of have the combo. We'll keep this. I think Standard Bear might go a bit. We'll, uh, we'll lead off with this and just pass the turn. Knight in the Godhead. Watch, this is the turn they're going to have the Lords, though. We really need a Standard... Well, not Standard Bear. Uh, Prismatic Strands and Journeys to show up after we uh, land our little combo here. Ugh, don't like seeing that. Damn, son. All right, let's go for here and here. So we'll drop steel and hopefully we can race. I'm a little concerned with the poison aspect. Valent slivers, if a couple of them show up, boy, oh my god, you start getting two, four, six, eight, and you're just like, oh my god, I can't even get hit again. It's funny, I was showing Methonical this list, and he goes, oh my god, I didn't even know Galena's Knight was a card. <laughs> and I was like, how does that happen? Play as much popper as that guy does, and some cards go invisible, and then I realized how long I've been playing this silly game, so. It's pretty rare. Somebody else mentioned a card, and I'm like, huh? But it does happen. Just like that blue one with Replicate that... All right. Here come the lords. Har, This is going to be rough. All right. Hey, got a little lucky there. He was really leaning on the uh, poisonous aspect, isn't he? Boop, boop, boop. Well, at least we're going to play even here. For the time being, until eight more lords show up. To drop Labe Standard Bear Block Ephemerate, probably, and then uh, depending on how bad things get. Watch him just drop a journey and be like, no! Yeah, we lost to Just Guy, can, a real popular USA build out there. Like I said, usually pull that one off. We ran over Tron. Beat Heroic, and then we got run over by Tron, and now Slivers is the deciding factor. Win, lose, or draw, make no mistake. It's a very solid deck. Like I said, I'm on uh, Popper Classic Tuesdays, I think I'm 11 and 2 with this, and then I uh, just 5 0 with it. I'll probably play it again in the next 24 hours in a league. And I can't really, it's just an honest deck. It, it's got just enough angles. It's not selfish. It doesn't go. Uh, doesn't try to do too much. 
Hmm. Well, at least everything's green on his end, so we can at least uh, call green if uh, Prismatic shows up, which can't happen soon enough. So yeah, so imagine if he drops two more slivers, we're like dead next turn. Okay. Let me preordain here. Oh boy, I love seeing that card. Bottom, top. Play this. We'll play the snow. Be able to keep our life in check here. Hey, that's cool. We don't really need it quite yet, though. Um, I guess we could. You know what? Let me, uh, because he's tapped out, I'm going to grab a Lord while I can here. I think that's the play. Yeah, we'll grab a Lord. So we saw Vines of Vastwood and stuff. I don't want to fall for any, like, where we have to grab our own Knight there. So, so we buy a little bit more of a turn. Then if we top deck a land, we're going to be able to play Standard Bearer with a Prismatic backup. That'll feel pretty good. Life gain so relevant and pauper. As you can see, this game would be over a long time ago. I love all these creatures are green. I'm liking that. A little fearful of the explosive power that we saw in game one. Kind of went all in with the uh, instant there. So normally that would really suck because then uh, the game's over here if we don't, if he can block. But still, the Godhead does a lot of work. You see, we're playing against a non red deck and it's still kind of the best thing out there. So. Be careful of this uh, damage here. All right. Just give me land. Give me land. Give me land. Got to be careful of the poison counters here. All right. I think this is where we just... Uh, I mean, we've got the Mole Drifter play. Another Lord shows up. That's that's okay because we'll be all right. I think we're gonna get a little greedy here. Go evoke. Blink time. I'm not even gonna get greedy here. All right, click on evoke always first. Hit this. Draw four cards. Okay. This. Yeah, we lose to a, a virulent sliver with this play, though. Life's okay, but if he drops another uh, Virulent Sliver, we're dead. Let's hope he doesn't. Chat got awfully quiet. Don't be a Virulent Sliver. Be a Sentinel Sliver. Be another Lord. That's fine. Good times. All right. Whew. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Is that 15? Good Lord. We might still be dead. I'm actually going to block here. All those tricks we saw, we don't have our standard bear out. We'll be out of the woods next turn, but... 14. Does he got more? 17. Is there any more? Ooh, boy, am I glad I blocked. Astro Lube. 
<laughs> Chimsky with the truth. This is a very close game. We will say no to that. No. Man. Play this. Go like this. Cast this. Sit back and do absolutely nothing now. Cycle this for another blue. I know, actual giant growth. Good call. It's like, hey, you ever hear a groundswell? More consistent, though. Never have to worry about it not working. Ooh, okay, so we've taken, we've got three infect left. We can kill him next turn with a steal of the Godhead because Standard Bear is out. One card in hand. I'll say green. We'll take four and a poison. I like that better than uh, going all out here. All right. Now that aforementioned thing you talked about. Against a non-red deck, but it still gets there because of the cool ability. They might have a fog here too, though. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Or they, uh, what did we run into that one time? The celestial whatever, where you got to sacrifice a creature. Whew. All right. Well, we lost to Tron for the first time, and we beat Slivers for the first time. Let's see if we can continue that with game th deciding. Game three. Ha. Ah. Boy, the spell feels pretty good in that matchup. Giant Gross, too. I've got to really lean on Prismatic there, but I think Standard Bear is going to get there more often. I'm going to want to see it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this feels. I think even if our combo doesn't show up, we've got we've got roadblocks that can trip for Prismatic. The only thing that's kind of unsynergistic with Prismatic is our Mold Drifter. All right, let's hope for the best. Deciding game three, if we go three, two, and get a tiny bit of profit, break even, or do we crash and burn? I've been winning enough lately though. Still playing for free as always. And before I forget, thank you to Fuji Purple, Stephen Wake, and Jared Gel, especially for their monthly continued support. Also fun, 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 18, Hogs, Nessie, three, the G, into the river, Arkhammer, Hex and Rouge, MTM Tet, someone, Nim Chimsky in chat. Stephen Awake, Lovecraft 668, and Hemper. Your support always greatly appreciated, my friends. Okay, we have air power. This is a really weird hand. You know, on the surface, it feels like, oh yeah, we, we can journey a lord, and then we got prismatic, but if nothing else shows up, I can't say no to it, though, so we'll keep it. Really would like to see a standard bear. Might be the right call them, Chimsky. I just mold drifter with the uh, femorite's a nice combat trick and keeps us alive. But, oh god, I do not want to see that turn one. That almost meant the difference last game. Let's get our mana right. No cutesy tricks. We're just getting a plane. Yield. I just got like lotus petal, triple giant growth. Be like, what? Oops, I almost hit concede. Yield through this turn. That's what I mean. Those should be very far apart, <laughs> not two. Darn it, their mana's right too. Lords in the house. I've only got three cards left though, so. Oh, my wife just won 125 bucks playing blackjack. She's a pretty good gambler. 
Whoa, hold on a minute here. I can really go to town with the Skyfisher tricks. I'm just going to play honest here. Journey. Don't have enough time against a deck like Slivers. If it shows up next turn, fine. So your kids really get good MTG genes. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> My youngest is amazing at seeing, um, you know, like if he plays like a deck with multiple triggers and stuff like that, I'm just like, man, light years ahead of me. I'm quite a dunce when it comes to that stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's too early for that. Let me ponder. Come on, show me a standard bear. Another journey, I'll take that. I think we get greedy here. I can pass, probably like take six next turn, then I can play uh, Journey and flash it back with Ephemerate. I mean, what's the other option? Yeah, I play Skyfisher, lose tempo. So. That's going to hurt. At least they're all green. Poison count's getting a little too high for me. Actually, we need another source of white. My plan uh, is a dumb one. I'm going to have to sit back and wait on another white here because... Uh, Skyfisher trick only works with more white. A lot more. Okay. I'll take a lord out. No tricks. Let's Whole green. Hopefully, no white creatures show up. Okay, one card in their hand. Got to respect when you can shove gem hide in there. It's for some really flexible draws, but we <sighs> got what we wanted there. Bring this back up. I've got to get rid of that Lord. I can at least kill a virulent sliver that way. Nerve wracking. Lords of Plenty. Three of them out, two of them in jail. Damn it, at least it's green. At least it's green. Can we take this? 11, we cannot. Damn. I think we're going to go 2 3, unfortunately. Say green. We need some help. Another prismatic would be really nice. That's kind of cool. 
one, two, three, and that. I need to draw cards. Evoke it. I don't think we can live past this turn, though. At least we've got blockers. That's nice. Be cool if we had a way to discard it. All of a sudden, there's hope. And none of our stuff's going to be alive next turn. That's the problem. Chat got real quiet. Come on, guys. Support me even in failure. Astro Lube. I want your Boggle Extra Slippery. Very nice. Ooh, I love this play. No tricks, just a bit of a reprieve. Let's see how many grabs. Thank God it wasn't a forest. And now they have flanking. Wonderful. How do we survive? We don't. Yeah, I've just got to double block these. Block and block. Man. That Virulent Sliver is going to be horrific next turn. Oh, why can't they be at like three life or something? A rebound doesn't even work. All right, let's play our dude. We need to keep prismatic math open. One, two, three. That doesn't leave much else. Let's bring out the knight. At least he'll live and we can gain life next turn, but we're going to need to like draw prismatic, prismatic. And that's not likely to happen. Flanking too. Yeah, this is grim. I think my sliver's uh, account is going to hold true. I don't think we're winning this game. <laughs> Looking grim though, says Disruption. Nice. Thank you for hanging out with us. I think that's the first time we've seen you in chat there. All right. Very lens down. Play this last turn. And here comes the Vigilance for an extra kick in the crotch. Woo! Here we go. Maybe if I do this, he just won't attack at all. And I can save my guy. Go green on that. See if he sees it still. Does white still come through? Come on, miss it. Ah, shoot. Ooh, I've got to, I got to do this. I mean, I guess I could have blocked, killed them, and then we just got to hope that we draw into another prismatic here. And then what, you know, two more after that? It's going to take a uh, miracle here. Prismatic! All right. Well, this will gain life and not do much else. We don't have any way of drawing cards. We are going to lose this one, guys. But we can at least pretend that we have Prismatic, right? Let's go. Prismatic. Did I play? And we lose. I'm just going <laughs> to... Maybe they pass. <laughs> None shall pass, as the Black Knight is fond of saying. Don't let this result fool you, folks. We had some... Uh, well, this is the only bad matchup we, we have. Stompy can be a little uh, a little bit easier because it leans on one color so hard. Sliver's pretty hard to get through. Let's see how much damage we're going to take. I could do the math, but why bother? Let's do this and make him just lose a beat and... Ah, come on through. Any instance? 
He's got us. Dead to rights. So yeah, if you're going to play this, beware. Stump is very beatable, games two and three, but you almost always will lose that first game. They've just got so much uh, fight mechanics now. So yeah, I went two, three. That kind of blows with a really good deck. I don't mind going two, three when we're playing Super Rogue and stuff like that, but make no mistake, this is a very strong deck. Um, but shit happens. Uh, we lost two red, white, blue Jess guy. We beat Tron easily, and we uh, we beat Heroic pretty easily, games two and three. Then we got wrecked by Tron, and uh, we just saw what happened with Slivers. It was a game three, though, so I'm a little happy about that. Problem with Slivers, they've got those three colors and the poison angle, and so Prismatic only goes so far. And I think we had a pretty good matchup as far as uh, he was playing a lot of instants, and so I think uh, Standard Bear would do a lot of justice there. But wasn't to be, folks. But this is my Azorius Godhead list. I really like it. We've got four Ash Barons. The list will be in the uh, chat on YouTube and on Twitch if you're curious. One Wilds, uh, all basic islands, and then four Plains, four Astrolabes, two Relics Main, four Preordains, two Ponders, three Dispel, two Ephemerate, Sky Skyfisher, two uh, Counter Spells, and we got a full set of Galena's Knight and Velcan and Outliner, kind of the backbone of the deck because this puts on two of them, four, four unblockable, gain life. Saw it a few times today. Trinket Mage and are two of those and four Mold Drifters. So that's going to do it. I'm going to be online all weekend long playing way too much. Um, hopefully we'll bump into a few of you out there. Like I said, don't let the 2-3 uh, outing throw you out. I mean, there's plenty of uh, tier 1 lists you play with and you have bad days. You have good days. Like I said, just had a 5-0 with this the last time I played it. So um, say what you will. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on this weird Saturday. I'm going to roll to uh, one or two things and we'll be uh, seeing you next week. I can't say same time, same place. It'll be uh, same place, but not same time. We're going to be uh, going from that. So anyway, guys, uh, here comes another Conan Quickie, and uh, we'll see you next week on Propaganda. Here's a little ditty I wrote back in 1933. President Roosevelt was pretty popular back then, and I wrote this little tune about him. Oh, they say that Roosevelt is quite a guy. But I say he's a no-good commie spy <laughs> It's clear we've all been had He reports to Stalingrad So let's find the tallest tree and hang him high Lynchity Prez Wait, 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 wait a minute Lynchity Prez? My, what a horrible song! Oh, too heartwarming, eh? Heartwarming? <laughs> you accused President Roosevelt of being a communist? Americans must have hated you for that. Well, things cooled down after they threw me down a mine shaft. Oh. <laughs> Let's change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? A hmm? song for the ladies. That sounds great. Let's go yeah. ahead. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, here you go. Oh, women should be seen but never heard. <laughs> we should gag them if they ever say a word. <laughs> And if they claim that it's unfair, we'll just trap them in a snare and lock them in a cage just like a bird. Prisony gal. Yeah.